guys, what's going on? I've been on a very long hiatus, close to three months, but I'm back now, and we'll get to everything now, because I do not want to kill time. Uh, first up is a Denix Army Confederate Revolver, or Confederate Army Revolver, I think it could be that. The barrel doesn't rotate, which is kind of a bummer, but I'll probably buy a new one that has a rotating barrel now. Um, also bought a Denix Colt revolver. Uh, it was supposed to be black, but I got a gray one instead. No big deal. I also bought some fake bullets for it, because you can actually put fake bullets in the in the um, the chamber for the gun. They're not real. They're obviously fake. It's a replica gun, so bought replica bullets. And they're spray painted gold, so obviously they're not real. And I also bought, for the very first time, my own record. My own vinyl record. Um, it's Army of the Pharaohs and Death Reborn. See it there. I actually have the CD version of this album. And this is the only album from an artist that I actually liked that they had at the exchange for 20 bucks. And I told myself if I wasn't going to buy this, I was going to regret it. So I bought it. And this is what the record looks like. It's uh, green marble. Actually, that's actually what it said on the... Um, on the record when I bought it, it says like green marble color. So really, really nice. I love how the way I love how they made the uh, the record look color wise. It's not the standard black. Put this back. I don't have. I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna do anything with this. I'm just gonna keep it in its plastic sleeve. Uh, I also got a Funko Liu Kang for Christmas. I have five so far now. I have Kratos, Jin Kazama, Kazuya Mishima, and Vegeta. Now Luke. Kang. Next, I was talking about a guy named Hidden, who was nice enough to send me five albums before for free. I purchased one of his newer albums called No Love, and he was nice enough to send me three extra copies of new albums that he did before. So we got In the Dark by Hidden versus a dude named Drew. Haven't heard it yet, but I will. Eventually. Uh, Hidden, The Way of the Warrior. This was the last album that I heard that he did. Um, I always kept kept up with what he released. And tried to see if I could buy some of his albums. Um, next is Hidden, Mr. B, and Immaculate, The Priory of Scion. Very good album. Uh, no Love by Hidden and N95. The third album that they did together. Very, very good album. Uh, the Alcoholics, 21 and over. I want to get through this as quickly as possible. Uh, Nas, Nasradamus. It's not his best work. You can see why a lot of Nas fans really don't like that album too much, but it's it's okay. Raekwon, only built for Cuban links. I heard so many good things about this album, so I figured I would buy a copy. Along with Jay-Z, Reasonable Doubt. Found both copies at FYE. Um, only both of Cuban Links was seven. Reasonable that was fourteen ninety nine. Couldn't pass it up, and considering that it was the only copy of Reasonable Doubt they had. Um, John Cena and the trademark. You can't see me. It's not every day uh, a wrestler can say I have my own hip hop album. You know, so I figured I'd give it a listen to. Compared to the music now, that album is very good. It's okay, though. Um, Gangstar, Moment of Truth, my very first Gangstar album, actually. And a very good one, too. I also ordered Gangstar's um, Hard to Earn. I also ordered two albums from Chino XL, which are the very first time that I ordered anything from him. Um, Poison Pen and Here to Save You All. And I also ordered Apathy's newest album called The Widow's Son. Now, very excited that he released his album. I thought he was going to release it like in the middle of this year. But he released it a few days ago, actually. So, I'm really excited to get that album. Uh, now, over the movies, we have The Great Gatsby. Seen the movie a long time ago. Loved it. Found it at, at a pawn shop for like five bucks, so I picked it up. Uh, they Need in the Cupboard. This is a movie from my childhood, so I love this movie to death. I love this movie as much as I love uh, Toy Story. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I can sit there and watch Toy Story, even at my age. So, yeah, I love them. They're great movies. A Haunted House. 
Haunted House is pretty much like a parody of like Paranormal Activity or any movie that's similar to like found footage. So, Haunted House 2, had to get both movies. Both are very funny. Very, very funny. Shaun of the Dead, really funny movie from Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Uh, Hot Fuzz, a second movie they did together. Very funny as well. <clears throat> the World's End, the third movie that they did together. I think this was the final one that they did. Um, well, if you include Paul, you know. Uh, I don't think they're going to be doing anything anymore together. Which is kind of a shame because they're very funny together. Uh, VHS 2. I have seen all three of the VHS movies and the third one was just terrible. I hated the third one. It was so fucking bad. The first two are good. Third one... <coughs> mm, sorry about that. Not so much. Uh, Brick Mansions. This is the American version of a movie that came out in France called District 13 or Burial 13. Great movie. Both movies are pretty much the same. Um, both are really good though. Resident Evil Damnation. I haven't seen the newest one. I think it's called Vengeance. I'm not sure. But I do want to get that one. Uh, Deadpool. Very funny movie. I love Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds did a good job with uh, Deadpool. He was very funny. Can't wait for the second one to come out. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Out of the Shadows. I recently watched this one today. Actually for the first time. I liked it. It was pretty funny. <clears throat> 8 Mile. Great movie. Remember watch, I remember watching this in the theaters. Loved it. And lastly for the movies is Hustle and Flow. This Now, Hustle and Flow is very similar to 8 Mile, except Terrence Howard is a pimp, whereas Eminem works at a stamping factory in Detroit. But Terrence Howard, surprisingly, is pretty good at, um, at rapping. Uh, now we're going to be getting into the games. We're going to start off with the Game Boy Advance games. Um, I will, word, quick word of advice, I have a lot of compilations for the GBA, so please bear with me. Um, Namco Museum, 50th anniversary. I have the console version of that game, along with this one, Namco Museum. I actually had to rebuy some games. Um, I rebought Midway Arcade Treasures, Midway Arcade Treasures 3, Namco Museum, because the copy I had was like pretty scratched, and so I have a Greatest Hits copy now. The, the other one I had was black labeled. Sonic Mega Collection Plus, Street Fighter Alpha Anthology, Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, and one of the new games that I have here, which is Godzilla Save the Earth, because all those games were pretty scratched, but they work perfectly fine. I just want to have that, you know, some nicer copies of the games. Alright, now is Donkey Kong Country. Great game. I love Donkey Kong Country. Uh, Atari Anniversary Advance. Harry Potter and the um, Prisoner of Azkaban. I had this game along with the Chamber of Secrets and Sorcerer's Stone and Star Wars Jedi Power Battles for the GBA, and they just magically vanished. I don't know what the hell happened to them. So, yeah, had to buy, I have to buy them again and beat both Harry Potter 1 and 2 over again. So, it's always fun. Capcom Classics Mini Mix. I have both Volumes 1 and 2 for the PlayStation 2. I have remixed and reloaded for the PSP. And Minimix was the last one I needed, so I have them all now, which is awesome. Konami Collector Series Arcade Advanced. They they released a DS version of um, Konami Classics Arcade Hits, is what it's called. And I'm um, really excited to get that one because that one has 15 games, whereas that one has, I think, five. Pac-Man Collection. I had this, cop had this game before, but the sticker was really bad, so I just rebought bought a, uh, another copy as a nicer sticker. Midway's greatest arcade hits only has four games, but they're they're not terribly ported, but could have done better. It's cool though. And Pokemon Fire Red version. Now my idea, now my GBA collection is finally complete because I now have a Pokemon game. If you have a, a Game Boy Advance collection and your your shit does not have a Pokemon game, it's not complete. Uh, now is Namco Museum DS. I have a lot of Namco Museum compilations. Um, I have, I think, more than like seven. I have two, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, eight compilations for Namco Museum. Jesus Christ. Namco Museum Volume 1. Volumes 1 and 3 are very common, whereas 2, 4, and 5 are fucking expensive. I don't know why. I guess because Volume 1 and 3 has like Pac-Man, Galaga, Galaxian, that kind of thing. That's probably why they're so common. Atari Anniversary Edition Redux. This one has 12 games. Pretty good. Compilation. A collection of classic games from the Intellivision, or if you want to call it Intellivision Classic Games. That's what it says on the, um, on the side there. I don't know if you can read that. Hopefully you can. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. I love Alpha 3. A lot. That is until I play Third Strike. Now, Alpha 3 is my second favorite. Um, Ape Escape on the Loose. I had this had this game as a loose copy. It didn't have, it didn't have the manual or the, um, the case. So I found that one at the exchange for 4 bucks. So I immediately bought it. Godzilla Save the Earth. Great game. Very, very fun. remember watching the Angry Video Game Nerd doing the NES version of Godzilla. And then he played these. And got, he got pissed off because these games were really good compared to the one on the NES. Uh, Godzilla Unleashed. Awesome game. This game is expensive. I paid like th close to $40 for that. $34 something. Yakuza. The very first Yakuza game I played, believe it or not. And I have a very long way to go to play these games. Because they've made a lot of them. They've made seven so far. Um, Title Legends. I have the uh, PSP version of Title Legends. I want to get Volume uh, Title Legends too, and I'll have them all. Um, Onimusha Three Demon Siege. Bought this one at the exchange for twenty five bucks because it was brand new. That's why I paid so much. Metal Gear Solid Three Subsistence. I had um, Snake Eater, the regular copy of uh, of Metal Gear Solid Three. Found that one at the exchange for eight dollars, and I couldn't pass it up, so I immediately bought it. Next is Mortal Kombat Deception, the premium pack. Uh, I paid not even $10 for this, which is a steal. This, and there's the bonus disc. Uh, it says, exclusive arcade perfect playable version of MK1, 25 character video bios including MK Team commentary, and an in-depth of, an in of the Mortal Kombat franchise, or an in-depth history. Uh, yeah, it was, it's really only up until Deception, obviously. But yeah. Samurai showed an anthology. I paid 30 bucks for this copy. Reason why was because it was brand new. You you go on eBay, and I guarantee you that this game will probably be like 40 to 50 dollars, and it's a pre-owned copy. Found mine on Amazon for 30 bucks, and I'm not gonna lie, I was really happy. Virtual Fighter 4. I have the regular version of Virtual Fighter 4, and now well, I have Evolution and now the um, the original. Before I hated Virtual Fighter, I don't know why, but now, now I love it. Uh, Deadpool, I had to get the game. The same day I got the game, I beat it that very same day. It's short. That's kind of the, the downer about that one. Uh, I don't know if I showed this one, but I hopefully, I hope I didn't. But if I did, I'm sorry. Wolfenstein, The New Order. Yeah, really, really good game. Dragon Ball Fighters. Really awesome game. Um, I, it's funny because I bought this two, I think three, three days after it was released. I uh, paid fifty two ninety nine for it. It's great. It's a really great game. And lastly, Resident Evil Seven Biohazard Gold Edition. I have the regular copy here, and I'm gonna be um, sending that one to a friend. Um, but yeah, I, I bought this one mainly because it had the, all the DLC. Band footage one in band footage volume one and two, which were Bedroom, Nightmare, Ethan Must Die, Daughters, Twenty One, and Jack's Fifty Fifth Birthday. It also came with the new um, DLC called End of Zoe, which Joe Baker is fucking awesome in this game. Like he beats the molded with his bare fists. That's that's awesome. <coughs> so yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it's pretty much everything that I've gotten. Um, like I said, I had to rebuy some of the some of the games that I had before because the copies were pretty beat up. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've gotten. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm sorry for the long hiatus that I had. And yeah, I'll see you guys um, hopefully soon. Take care. Have a good night. Most importantly, stay safe, and I will see you guys on the next video. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.